Now, we've all had a fallout with a friend, but most the, the most notorious catfight in the history of Hollywood but it was between Bette Davis and Joan Crawford, and it's sure to have topped any of our feuds. The 50-year fallout has gone down in history, so much so that our final guests are taking it to the West End stage and are starring in a production based on the infamous row. Here to tell more, please welcome Greta Skaki and Anita Dobson. <laughs> Who's Bet and who's Joan? I'm Betty. <laughs> Betty. Oh, Betty. Fantastic. For all of you who ever thought, I remember I, I wasn't sure for years, but reading her biography, her name was spelt with a Y, and just to be a little bit different, when she was a teenager, she changed it to an E, but it was always Betty. It was and that's, a Betty. And actually. she was very angry if people pronounced it wrong. So. She was very angry, full yeah. stop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is so, it, this isn't based on the film Whatever Happened to Baby Jane, is it? Well, it, it's kind of about them making the film, Whatever Happened oh, to Baby Jane, yeah. but not actually doing it. You see them as they've come off the set in their dressing rooms, <gasps> responding about oh. what the other one's been doing. Oh, should we see a clip so, of the film? Because so I is saw a film, it so long ago. This is a film that brought them together. Uh, uh, kind of interesting phases in their career. They've been around for a while, yeah. and it was well known. Their that careers they had fans. started to slide. Yeah, their stars slide. were on the wane, and they weren't big fans of each other. Let's take a look. Jane, do you remember what... Do you actually see snippets from the film then? Oh, right. No, 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 no. no Why does like... that make you emotional? Yeah, very emotional because it's a story of two sisters who grew yeah. up together and ended up out of jealousy and hate doing terrible things to each other and I find it very moving at the end when she tries to appeal to the better side of her sister and by then it's too late. Mm. She's too far gone. Too far gone, so, yeah. So talk us through the intricacies of this relationship and, and, and why do you think it works so well that it can hold a whole performance, a whole play? Because it's just the two of you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's like two <laughs> interwoven monologues so we get to see a really detailed portrait of each of these two actresses who actually had a hell of a lot in common. I mean, being in the industry at that time when there was the change from the silent movies into the talkies and when there were those big studio moguls, it was very much a male-run world and women had to be glamorous and they were both trying to fight to keep their stars high. They both had four failed marriages and children that they adopted who both had daughters who turned against them and wrote slanderous books mm. about them as Mommy mothers. Oh, Mommy Mommy Jerry. Jerry. It was incredible how much they had in common, but they approached their work and their lives and their womanhood in very different ways. Mm. And so there was just a mistrust and animosity but You to could begin almost with. see that in that clip there, couldn't you? you mm. could see, I mean, it a kind of crackles, on. doesn't it? But yeah. I think a lot of their... I think they probably had more... Uh, compassion for each other than later, as legend went, uh, was ever really understood. It was I think very well documented how much they hated each other. But in your play and uh, your monologues, does it come out of, uh, in fact, that they had a fondness? No, but I think people have said, um, uh, in retrospect, that on the set they were absolutely true pros and they were polite oh, yes. to each other and they, you know, they really wanted the production to work. It was only, you know, behind the scenes and just personal, in their personal. I think a lot of it was projected from yeah. people's prejudice. Yeah. You know, the idea of oh, just but imagine you... two great glamorous women put for once instead of being the sole leads, they're going to be playing in a film together and sharing yeah. the stage. But, but mm. actually, because they they actually had so much in common. And like you say, four fell marriages, the children, blah, blah, yeah. blah. You think they'd have had a closeness and been great friends. I think friends. it's quite possible. Why do you think they hate, didn't? I, I think that they actually had more of a closeness in reality. I mean, we explore it very... I think it's explored very well in the writing. It's a very well-written new play by this very talented young man, Anton Burge. And uh, as we work on it, and we're still very much in the exploring stages at the moment, we've just got a couple of weeks and a yeah. lot of lines and I've never... Oh, taking oh, any oh, of his personality oh, home, home, are you? <laughs> <laughs> you but when you get to the end of the day, do you find you taking any of this? Strangely enough, I find it... I don't know about you, but I find it exhausting. It's, it's absolutely exhausting because they're so intricate, the pair of them. They're complicated women, and they're complicated women who were huge stars and, and deeply talented, both of them. And there was this kind of, as you say, this crackling animosity. They were 
rivals to the end. Uh, but as Greta says, their underlying respect for the two of them. And it does kind of... And also, I think Joan did... She says she tried to be friends. It was Joan, know. after all, who had the idea... Who, for the play. She found yeah. the script. For the script. Of and really she great. chose Betty, was oh, her oh, dream yeah. colleague. So she actually came to Betty very graciously and enthusiastically. And apparently Betty was a bit cold. <laughs> was that <laughs> all? But listen, nobody else in Hollywood would have played that part <laughs> except no. Betty Davis. No. No. But they had to be very powerful, didn't they? Because in that period, to survive, they had to be the hardest women in the world. Mm. And so that must have coloured it because they all wanted the same parts as well. Yeah. And, but to get to Not in this one, one, because Joan No, not actually in this. This is the only one. Yeah, for yeah. her to play Joan. Yeah. It sounds fascinating, and it uh, sounds like you've got a lot of work to do. So <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Good luck with that. <laughs> in, uh, yeah. The Arts Theatre in London is where you can see the play. Uh, it opens on the 5th of May to the 25th of June. Best of luck with Thank it. Thank you, you so much, Greta. Thank you. And Anita. <laughs>